Welcome everyone. My name is Jan Weiler from the Photogrammetry and Robotics Lab and in this video I'm going to talk about our approach dealing with in-field phenotyping based on crop leaf and plant instance segmentation using fully convolutional neural networks exploiting the structure of plants. The phenotype defines observable traits of the functional plant body, for example its total number of leaves as well as their shape and size. These features are commonly used to describe plants growth stages, for example via the BBCH index. Plant scientists and breeders rely on these features to perform detailed analyses of plant phenotypes to generate new genetic variations of crops that show desired traits regarding their performance. However, in real field conditions this assessment is conventionally done manually, which is a time-consuming process. In contrast, vision-based systems offer the potential to perform the assessment at a large scale in less time and more objectively. In this work, we propose a method which performs a two-fold instance segmentation based on imagery recorded by UAVs on real fields. At the bottom, we show the procedure of our approach. First, we feed the RGB input image to our fully convolutional neural network, which provides us with two final outputs. First, an instant segmentation of crop leaves, where we visualize pixels belonging to the same leaf in the same color. Second, an instant segmentation of each crop plant, which we model as the union of its associated leaves. Finally, this enables us to compute relevant, basic, phenotypic traits for individual crops on real agricultural fields. To perform the two-fold instant segmentation, we design a convolutional neural network which predicts two set of offset vectors to shift pixel coordinates associated to an instance towards a region around the corresponding instance center. We denote translated pixel coordinates as spatial embeddings. The first set translates each pixel coordinate associated with a leaf instance towards its corresponding center. This results in spatial embeddings Li, as shown in the top right figure. The second set translates these pre-clustered pixels towards the center of their associated plant instance, resulting in spatial embeddings Pi, as shown in the bottom left. Thus, we model a plant as a union of its leaves. Next, we convert the distance between spatial embeddings and their associated center into a score between 0 and 1 by applying an unnormalized Gaussian kernel centered at each object centroid. A high score indicates that the embedding Li or Pi is associated with the kth crop leaf or jth plant instance. During training, we iterate over each instance and generate predicted score maps for each leaf and plant. For the final binary mask per instance, we take only spatial embeddings into account if they are within a valid region around their associated instance center. We describe these regions by instance-specific covariance matrices for each leaf and plant denoted by sigma and shown in the right figure. We design our network to predict these covariance matrices simultaneously to the offsets. At the top, we visualize the score maps for multiple leaf instances for a specific set of offset vectors and covariance matrices. At the bottom, we show the corresponding score maps for crop plant instances. Finally, we optimize the parameters of our network by comparing the predicted score maps and ground truth masks for all crop leaves in plant instances via the Lovac hinge loss, which effectively maximizes the intersection over union. The final network architecture is a branched earth net, which shares an encoder and has two separated decoders. The left decoder predicts two feature volumes with two channels each. They represent the predicted offsets to translate pixel coordinates towards their associated leaf and plant instance center respectively. In addition, this decoder predicts three feature maps to compute instance-specific covariance matrices for each leaf, which we applied to the previously mentioned Gaussian kernel. We exploit the remaining three feature maps to compute covariance matrices for each plant instance. The right decoder predicts score maps for leaf instances, shown at the top, and plant instances, shown at the bottom, which imitate the previously discussed score maps. We exploit these maps to recover the centroids of leaves and plants respectively. In the final, automated post-processing step, we exploit our network predictions to cluster all spatial embedding of crop leaves to generate leaf instance masks, as shown at the bottom left. Next, we rely on the pre-clustered spatial leaf embeddings to cluster spatial plant embeddings to model the instance mask of each plant as the union of its leaves, as shown at the bottom right. We evaluate our approach on images of a sugar beet field and show that our approach achieves more accurate instance masks in comparison to state-of-the-art methods. In addition, we derive common phenotypic traits such as the total leaf count per plant and show that our approach is superior to competing methods.